हेलो एवरी वन आई एम बैक विथ वन मोर यूनिक क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन यू विल रेयरली फाइंड इन एनी बुक ओके सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज यूनिक क्वेश्चन इट मे साउंड डिफिकल्ट टू यू बट आई एम हियर टू शो यू द सोल्यूशन पार्ट सो द क्वेश्चन इज ए रेस टू बी क्यूब प्लस बी स्क्वेर इक्वल टू थर्टी टू ए रेस टू बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन एंड स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ टू सो दिस टू equations are given to us okay so this two things are given to us and with the help of this we will find out the value of a and b so what will be the value of a and value of b so this we need to find out okay and what is given to us this part is given to us a raised to b cube plus b square equal to 32 and a raised to b equal to 16 square root of 2 options are toughest question this is very tough we cannot do it okay next option is don't know we don't know what can be the solution for this okay what can be the value for a and for b we don't know third option is impossible we cannot do we will not get any fixed answer for this type of question so this is impossible we cannot get the values of a and b and the last option is i want solution so i hope you all want solution for this type of question the question is different and interesting so let's see how we will solve this type of question so moving ahead with the solution part okay so please be attentive first of all this equation is given to us okay so i'm writing this part okay this is a raised to b cube plus b square and this is equals to 32 so this is given to us okay now in place of 32 i can write 2 raised to 5 because 32 means 2 multiplied 5 times so in place of 32 i am writing 2 raised to 5 okay so what i will get i will get a raised to b cube plus b square equals to 2 raised to 5 and this is our first equation now second part which is given to us is second part is a raised to b and that is equal to 16 square root of 2 now if you see carefully 16 can be written as 2 4 times 2 raised to 4 so if you multiply 2 4 times you will get 16 so in place of 16 we can write 2 raised to 4 and in place of this square root of 2 i am writing here 2 raised to 1 by 2 now 2 and 2 bases are same so we can add up the powers so this again is equal to 2 raised to 4 plus 1 by 2 so i hope you understood this step i am combining this okay so in place of 16 i am writing 2 raised to 4 in place of square root of 2 i am writing 2 raised to half 1 by 2 okay square root can be written like this now 2 and 2 bases are same and they are in multiplication so we can add up the powers so after adding this what you will get 4 twos are will be 8 and plus 1 will give you 9 by 2 so this will be equal to 2 raised to 9 by 2 so this is my second equation so i hope this much is clear to you how i got this part and how i got this part so a raised to b is equal to 2 raised to 9 by 2 so this part i hope you understood now this both i am raising it to the power of 2 by 9 okay so look here what i am doing is this a raised to b okay i am multiplying this whole part with 2 by 9 same i am doing this side also here what is given 2 raised to 9 by 2 so 2 raised to 9 by 2 i am multiplying this by 2 by 9 okay so i hope you understood this i am raising both sides okay raising means i am taking it to the power that's why i am i am using the word raising so raising uh, both by 2 by 9 okay so 2 by 9 we are multiplying in the power of both both the sides lhs and rhs so i hope this is clear to you so here i will get a raised to 2b by 9 i am getting 2b upon 9 and this side 
9 and 9 will be cancelled, 2 and 2 will be cancelled. So, this will be equal to only 2. So, a raised to 2b by 9 is equal to 2. So, again I am getting one more equation, third equation. a raised to 2b by 9 is equal to 2. So, in place of 2, I can substitute this value. So, now I am going to use this what I have got. So, moving ahead, I am taking uh, this part. Okay. So, a raised to b equation, this first part. Okay. So, which I have uh, evaluated like this. So, I am taking this part. A raised to b cube plus b square and that is equal to 2 raised to 5. So, this was there, right? So, now I am using this part. So, in place of this part, okay, I what I am going to do is, in place of this 2, I will put this value, a raised to 2b by 9, what I have got in place of 2. So, now, a raised to b cube plus b square and this side, in place of 2, I will substitute a raised to 2b by 9, a raised to 2b by 9 and don't forget this phi, so this whole raised to 5 okay so what we have done we have taken this equation and in this equation in place of 2 uh, we have substituted this value a raised to 2b by 9 now moving ahead if you see this 2b by 9 will become a raised to 10b by 9 you can multiply 2 5s are 10 so 10b by 9 now if you see here a raised to b cube plus b square and this side a raised to 10b by 9 so if you compare a and A, bases are same. So, obviously, we can take powers also equal. So, on comparing, on comparing what you get, you get equation B cube plus B square equals to 10B by 9. So, you get this equation if you compare this both. So, I hope this much part is clear. Okay, bases are same. So, powers also can be written like this in equal. So, we are getting this equation now solving this equation. So, 9 we will multiply here. So, we will get 9 b cube plus b square. Okay. And this 10 b I am bringing here. So, minus 10 b and this side equal to 0 will be left. Now, taking out b common from all. So, I will be left with 9 b square. Okay. 9 b square and here with 9 we will multiply. So, here also it is 9. Okay. Now, 9b square, 1b I am taking out common, so it will be only 9b minus 10 equals to 0. Now, this b equals to 0, so this b is removed. Now, this is our equation, 9b square plus 9b minus 10 equals to 0. I hope you understood. This 9, we have to multiply, I am bringing it here and uh, we are multiplying with this both part. So, it will be 9b cube plus 9b square and this positive 10b. Okay, this I am shifting here. I am transposing this side. So, it will be minus 10b and this side equal to 0 will be left. And then taking out b common, so we get this equation 9b square plus 9b minus 10. Now, splitting the middle term and taking out factors. So, now factorizing this, if you take out the factors, now try to factorize this. So, 9 tensa is 90. So, after multiplying, you should get 90 and the middle term is 9. So, yes, we can take 15 sigza. So, 9b square, I am keeping it as it is. And in place of this 9b, this middle term, I am keeping plus 15b minus 6b minus 10 equals to 0. So, I hope this is clear to you. Okay, so in place of 9b, I have kept this. If you solve this, you will get 9b. Now, taking out common. So, if you take out common from this both, you can take out 3b common. So, inside the bracket, 3b plus 5 is left. Minus, from here, you can take out 2 common. So, what will be left? Again, 3b plus 5 equals to 0. So, we are getting two factors, 3b minus 2, 3b plus 5 equals to 0. So, we are getting two factors. Now, from here we get two equations. So, if you solve it, what you will get? You will get 3b minus 2 equal to 0 and you will get 3b plus 5 equals to 0. Now, if you solve this minus 2, you take that side, it will become positive 2. So, b will be equal to 2 upon 3. 
this two we will take that side and this three which is in multiplication we will take it here in the denominator in division so b is equal to 2 upon 3 now coming this side so here what i'll get positive 5 if i take that side okay shift it that side so it will be negative 5 so here i will get negative 5 upon 3 so i am getting two values for b so for b i have got two values now with the help of this we will find out the values for a okay we have got b now we will find out for uh, a now first of all if b is 2 upon 3 then what will be a so let's try to do that if b is equal to 2 by 3 then what will be a so now in place of b first we will substitute this value 2 by 3 so let's take equation from here and try to get the value of a so which equation you can take so let's take uh, let's take a raised to b is equal to 2 raised to 9 by 2 let's take this part so a raised to b okay i'm writing here a raised to b is equals to which equation 2 raised to 9 by 2 2 raised to 9 by 2 now a raised to b now b is 2 by 3 okay so what i will get a raised to i am keeping this value so a raised to 2 by 3 is equal to 2 raised to 9 by 2 now this 2 by 3 which is in power form if you take it that side what will happen what will happen we will get a here and this side 2 raised to 9 by 2 was there okay and this 2 by 3 will become reciprocal so here we will write it 3 by 2 okay i hope it is clear this power 2 by 3 this i am shifting that side okay you can shift it that side and this was square and this was one third okay so if you shift this side it becomes reciprocal so 2 upon 3 we can write like this 3 upon 2 now cancellation is not possible so you need to multiply so 9 3 is 27 so we are getting a equals to 2 raised to 27 upon 4 so this is the value of a when b is 2 by 3 okay now when b is minus 5 by 3 now we will find with the help of this value so if b is equal to minus 5 by 3 then what will be the answer again keeping values minus 5 by 3 in place of b so again using the same equation so a raised to b is equal to 2 raised to 9 by 2 in place of b i'll keep minus 5 by 3 same thing we are going to do again okay same steps so in place of b i am writing minus 5 upon 3 and this side 2 raised to 9 upon 2 now same steps minus 5 upon 3 if you shift this side it is in power form so if you shift this side it will be a raised to a equals to a equals to here 2 was there 9 by 2 was there here we will multiply this by minus 3 by 5 again we have to take reciprocal but this time we have negative sign also so don't forget that we have negative sign also so minus 5 by 3 can be written as minus 3 by 5 okay so now if you multiply this what you get you get a equals to 2 raised to minus 27 by 10 you are getting this minus 27 upon 10 so this is your value for a you can also write it as minus 2.7 okay you can also write it as a raised to minus 2.7 now there is no place i'm using another paper okay so what values we are getting a we are getting see what i got 2 raised to minus 27 upon 10 so this i can write as 2 raised to minus 2.7 because upon 10 is there so we can write it in decimal so this is our value for a now what will be our final answer our final answer for this question will be b so for b we have two values when we keep b 2 by 3 what we get a so at that time we get a 2 raised to 27 by 4 so a is equal to 2 raised to 27 by 4 when we keep b equals to minus 5 by 3 
at that time we get a equals to 2 raised to minus 2.7 so this is our final solution set for this question i hope it is understood so these are the values for a and b this question was a little bit twisted and complicated but if you follow the steps properly you will get the solution easily so b equals to 2 by 3 b equals to minus 5 by 3 and a equals to 2 raised to 27 upon 4 and another value for a is 2 raised to minus 2.7 so these are the values for a and b so this question was not impossible yes it can be toughest it can be tough you may feel tough but yes solution is here so i hope you understood this question thank you